So we know gardens like Harlem Seeds have all these great benefits in terms of the food they produce and the benefits to the community and the neighborhood and the city overall. So if we can find a way to just measure these benefits and just state it in an impactful way, that's what this book and publication we're going to produce is all about. And hopefully it'll trickle down and we'll see it affect the city as a whole in the future. And I, I really think it will. Yeah, I think that's, a, that's very exciting because, you know, the biggest challenge in urban farming is really uh, evaluating the economics of it. You know, how much can you really produce per square foot and does it balance out? Is it really a sustainable thing to do or do you have to keep getting grants, you know, to keep the thing going, which doesn't really make sense. So I think this is very exciting. What do you think, John? What do you know? I, this is new to me, you know, I didn't even know you were doing this. But yeah, this looks like a really good idea. I mean Everything that we need to do needs to be reproducible by the people as well. So having data is the starting point to having other people being able to do this. Nice. So I think it's great that we're doing it. Well, I was just sharing with Robert, we we're actually just in the very beginnings of creating our rooftop uh, pilot garden urban farm project here at, our, at uh, the Kennedy Center. So well, I'm really excited, like I said to you earlier, about having this in the very beginning to start to implement some of the, the measuring protocols and uh, I think it'll really add a lot yeah. Yeah. Great. for everyone. Yeah. So why don't we go out and we take a, take a look. Have, and not to forget the man behind the camera who you can't <laughs> see, but, who is one of our first interns here. Uh, yeah. Get him to introduce gonna, himself and we can tell us a little bit about so what I'd like to think. introduce you to Romeo. So tell us what you're doing here today. <laughs> um, who, how'd you get here? How'd I get here? My train. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, what program are you with? Um, I'm from the program Harlem Sea. Like we do, we do com community service. Like we prepare food, healthy food, like vegetable. Most of the time, the vegetable is like raw, but it still tastes good. We more, we more of the time we go to museum. We go, we we make food markets like uh, in 116. And sometimes we we make miles food market around here at the King Center, so we like most around Harlem. So we are going up and down. Good. Well, I'm glad you're here. Uh, Romeo has been helping us design and build this uh, this farm. Well, let's let's go on out and uh, oh, great. check let's out go the take farm. A look. Floor and sides, and then we put the rafts on top with the holes to plant, carry the plants. It'll be 
be like a fully insulated, uh, uh, pre-circulating uh, system. I'm going to attach it to a fish tank and uh, an aeration system. And that's one component. And the other component, I'm going to let uh, Elwin talk about the vertical component. Because we just, uh, I just met Dr. Elwin last Saturday here at the, they had a farmer's market. Did you know about that? They did a kind of a trial is something they hope to start next spring. We got out here. Harlem Seeds, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Harlem Seeds is Harlem in seeds, conjunction yeah. with uh, some of the grad students from Columbia. The fellows there are designing a farmer's market. So we really hope to tie a lot of this together with a rooftop farm, the farmer's market right down there on the street. With the, we've got the programs happening here at the, the Kennedy Center. And so there's a lot of it. And as you can see, this is a pretty, uh, pretty cool space to work with. So it's kind of a combination of a, a laboratory and a farm. We're really going to be experimenting with uh, how to get the, the maximum of, uh, productivity and, uh, and usage out of it. And so, because it's, it's, it's about teaching people as well as just the production aspect. Um, we have a variety of things uh, that are up here. This is a little bit like the skunk works. You know, we're experimenting. It's like a lab. So for example, this is uh, this concept of uh, modular hydroponic system. It's designed to be small enough to, to fit indoors and it be uh, like a classroom tool for teaching hydroponics. So you have a reservoir at the bottom and there's a pump in there that distributes the water uh, throughout. And this top part of it is a vertical gardening system. It's called a phytopod. And um, this, this sort of modular unit is where you plant your lettuces in your rooms. As you can see, we've got all sorts of stuff on there. We've got basil and parsley and uh, some carrots down there, some uh, chives. Uh, got some peppers in the top. So really, um, the idea is that uh, something this size can even fit in an apartment and, and allow people to get into uh, production and, and just learn about production. Even just learning about it, I think, is a big deal in you know, producing because you, it, it changes your attitude and your understanding of what it takes to produce and provide you with um, nutritious vegetables, which I think a lot of people in cities have lost that connection. Yeah. Um, Plus, that's what that fits so well with what we're doing here. Is we're really yeah. trying, we're creating a teaching, teaching urban farm to train future urban farmers. And that's what they think it can go out and do. Yeah. So we're sort of going to bring these two things together. Um, in aquaponics, we're going to use these modules, probably bigger ones than this, uh, and connect those up with the uh, with the fish tanks, so that that these now act as filtration units on which we're growing. We're naturally filtering the water, but at the same time, we're producing uh, vegetables and herbs and so on and so forth. And so you can imagine the whole row. Of yeah. <laughs> you know, in front of this, and yeah. enhance the space. Right. Nicer looking. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a great spot for it. Again, still mindful of, of the educational dimension of things. Um, we have a, a kind of mini prototype of the, the aquaponic system that we're doing that we hope well, people will be able to use in classrooms where we use this as a reservoir and the, those individual modules simply stand on the top and we can put them in there um, and allow the teacher in the classroom to create uh, an entire ecosystem. So just So by doing that, you know, the, the kids can now grow plants on this. You can have the fish in the in the tank swimming around and they can measure things like the, the pH and the, how fast the, the lettuces grow, how long it takes them to be one inch long and two inch long and three long. And, and they can understand the relationship between the animals, the fish and the, the plants um, that are in here and, and, and you'll get a sense of just sort of teach the, the principles of the life uh, of ecosystems. Really, aquaponics is really the best way of doing that, wouldn't you say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we really want to make this place uh, a great uh, resource uh, for the city, you know, beyond, above and beyond just, you know, producing and, and tacking into the market. 
Uh, we hope that we'll be able to have people come here and do classes and, and uh, let them have a hands-on experience of a uh, rooftop urban farm. In the sunshine. Everybody loves the sunshine.